you're looking at the labels. If one label says there's not a pH recommendation, sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then go to the one that has a pH recommendation go and there. do that route. Now let's say there's two. Okay. Let's say, Meat and of metal. course I'm just shooting off examples. Just understand that here. Let's just say it's two forty and roundup, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. What is the problem in that field? Is it a broad leaf or is it a grass? That's the primary issue. Okay. If it's a grass, let's make sure that Roundup is in the best situation to succeed. Mm-hmm. If it's a broadleaf, water hemp, palmer, whatever, maybe we make sure the 2,4-D is going to do do its job. Or if there's a residual and help that residual's longevity, if it's out there, focus on that one then. Make okay. sure the pH is right for the herbicide you want to be most active cause her- is how I see or it. Make or make separate passes. Or make separate oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a farmer. I understand. I'm but, in my sprayer. Listen, I get it, guys. But do you? Would you rather have two chemicals that work less than half ass, or would you rather make the extra trip and have both of them work at 100 percent efficacy? Yep. Amen. I I understand. After you said that question, it just like oh. I, I, I I know nobody <laughs> likes it, but I'm saying like, and this is the problem in agriculture in general. This is why we go away from concentration based stuff to oh, we use a quarter roundup or two quarts, right? Because well, we know the average farmer, the typical farmer, is going to use 10 gallons an acre broad shot approaches half asset for everybody that's that's what happens nobody gets 100 percent efficacy and all i'm saying is is figure out what the answer is for your farm because it may be different than it is for your farm yep but well, probably it probably is probably. differently yes well when you talk about scalability at the same part make it scalable in your situation mm-hmm. you know what i mean so don't do all the acres at once oh yeah yeah sure yeah. start with your problem spot mm-hmm. yeah i'm really fighting this weed here yeah okay priority like just a priority list like yeah. what needs to be that, done otherwise we get overwhelmed <clears throat> and we're like screw it just r- r- pump the well pump the well fill the tanks go spray that's yep. you know the whole give up aspect and yeah, don't give up no, no, no just do what i did last year so well and it takes a lot like this time of year and when i say this time i'm not sure when this is shooting out but on the same token like right now we're sitting at the end of january so with that at the end of january here what have we been doing the last couple of months brainstorming new ideas for our operation this next year okay if if it is maybe trying two separate passes try it on one field yeah did it make a difference mm-hmm. and then if it made a difference just keep increasing it it's just Was like the trials with worth foliar it to feeding. go more yes yes you know i mean baby step into these things now while you're babysitting still get the data points oh god yes for those fields get the data points to keep proven the system but then by the time it's over your whole operation there's a chance now that you have five to ten years worth of data of what you've been doing before you're full head or full speed ahead and of course we want it faster kirk no, i understand I that we I want know. it faster I know. but on an operation making sound decisions that they feel comfortable with so they can go to bed at night that is a great way to get five to ten years worth of data sets before totally switching the needle to feel more comfortable with the decision at hand is how I see this situation and everything, all this complexity that it seems like we're talking about. It's really not that complex. Agreed. It's just, we're not saying the timelines within a year. Hmm. Let's do the timeline over your farm. I mean, we're young, we're young here. Okay. We yeah. still, we still got some years left. Yeah. And if you're sitting here saying, well, 19. I'm about, if I'm here about 10 years away, <laughs> 10 years away from retirement, how special could it be? to whoever takes on your legacy oh, that you yeah. have provided them the data set to help them make decisions guys if you've liked the information that you've seen so far go ahead and check out the full length podcast on our youtube channel be sure to subscribe there it's also on all the major pla- podcast platforms um, we're constantly dropping info and more content on all the social media platforms tiktok instagram facebook etc check it out for a lot more content